I'm here to read you another story. And when I'm done reading it to you, I want to talk to you about a couple things. Are you ready? Here we go. The title of the story is The Long and Short of It. The authors are Cheryl Nathan and Lisa McCourt. And it's illustrated, and remember we said illustrated means that it, the pictures are drawn by Cheryl Nathan. No two animals are alike. Some have long parts and some have short parts, but their differences are what make them special. Take the ring-tailed lemur, for instance. Its tail is longer than a skateboard. Look how long that is. Hokey Sam. But a Boston Terrier's tail is shorter than a half-used black crayon. And who can grow its beak longer than a banana? A toucan can. A chicken has a beak too, but guess what? Its beak is as short as a grape. There's the toucan. Look how long its beak is. And then look at the chicken. An elephant's trunk can grow longer than a car trunk, even longer than some whole cars. But I bet you don't know what the other animal that has a trunk. It's the tiny elephant shrew with a trunk as short as a broken toothpick. A giraffe makes a good friend because it'll really stick its neck out for you and its neck is as long as your bedroom door. <gasps> Zebra's necks are shorter than chair legs. So you ought to look at the chair in your kitchen and see that that's the same height as a zebra's neck. Can you imagine having fingers as long as hot dogs? Well, orangutans do. But the giant panda's little fingers are shorter than yo-yos. Reindeer have long antlers, longer than your arms, stretched out as wide as you can stretch them. Stretch your arms out and see how long the reindeer's antlers are. Can you see that on yourself? Wow. Mountain goat's horns are as short as carrots. Could you fit an aardvark snout in your lunchbox? Nope too long. And why would you want to anyway? A pig snout would fit. It's shorter than your thermos. Now a thermos, y'all don't use those anymore probably, but they're um, little jugs that have a screw on top that keep your food hot. Look at that purple hippo. Hippos are big but their ears are little, about as short as ping pong balls. Hares are little animals with long ears, almost as long as tissue boxes. And a hare is like a, in the bunny family, the rabbits. Peacock feathers are as long as jump ropes, but not as much fun to play with. The feathers on top of cockatiel's head are as short as inchworms. There's the cockatiel. The longest hair a person ever grew was almost 14 feet, as long as a seesaw. The little hairs on top of a manga bay monkey's head are shorter than the bristles on your toothbrush. Look how short they are. You should check your toothbrush and see how short they are. If you dance with a kangaroo, don't let it step on your toes. Kangaroo feet are longer than whole watermelons. Wow. 
Your foot is probably shorter than a carton of milk. Look at the difference. If you had lived in prehistoric days, you'd have seen huge woolly mammoths running through your backyard. Their tusks were as long as playground slides and even more curvy. Some walrus tusks are as short as drinking straws. Don't stick out your tongue at a chameleon. Its tongue is as long as its whole body, and that's longer than a fire hydrant. A raccoon's little tongue is as short as a stick of gum. Wow, what a difference. And don't tell secrets to a crocodile. What a big mouth. Its toothy grin is longer than your pillow. But this bottlenose dolphin's mouth is as short as a pencil. I didn't realize that. If you look for them, you'll find long parts and short parts everywhere. And that's the long and short of it. So here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to ask your family if they have any magazines around and maybe you could find a picture in there and cut it out and then glue it to a piece of paper and then in creative handwriting that's artistic. Did you notice how some of these, the writing went around the item like this and like that and it's artistic? Let me show you back here, too. See how there it went around the chameleon's head and down his tongue? For some of you, you might want to just write your name in an artistic way. Or for others of you, you could write a sentence describing the picture and do it all curvy and artistically around the picture that you cut out. And if you don't want to cut out a picture or you want to draw a picture, you could incorporate or write words in your picture that go around it and look really artistic that way. I would love to see what you come up with. So please send me a picture because I would love to see it. You guys have a great day today.